I'm Mark, and I'm with my colleagues, Carrie and Cynthia. We're from the Center for Math and Teaching. We're a nonprofit, and we develop middle school mathematics curriculum and resources. And we support teachers in using them through uh, our professional development. We worked together in the math department at UCLA for about a decade. Then 11 years ago, we left the university to form CMAT. We're gonna start with an overview of how to catch your students up. And we think that emphasizing quality over quantity is important and our plan is appropriate really at most any grade level. Then we'll explain a few features of our Math Links Essentials materials. Hopefully you'll see how they fit really nicely into a catch-up plan to address the essential concepts students need for success moving forward. We'd like to address something first as Parents and former classroom teachers were very concerned about students' social and emotional needs right now. We feel that now more than ever, it's important to create a safe and stable classroom environment or no plan's gonna work. Also, we acknowledge that students of all ages and backgrounds have learned a lot during the pandemic, things that they might not have learned otherwise, both about themselves and the world around them. But as mathematics educators, we know we're expected to teach certain content at every grade level, even in the best of times. Too many of our students have Swiss cheese backgrounds, big and little holes all over the place. And for too many students, these haven't been the best of times. So what can we do to mitigate this situation and get our students back on track? We hope you stay tuned as we answer this question. If you anticipate or discover that the majority of your students need a systematic catch-up plan, then what we re recommend for you is to concentrate on the major work of the current grade and backfill as needed. And the payoff is that more of your students will feel success at grade level work and they'll have more confidence moving forward. This chart summarizes the major work of grades five through eight. And let me show you our plan for including previous grade level work into the current grade level as needed. Our sixth grade catch up plan is supported by fifth grade major work. Similarly, our seventh grade catch up plan is supported by sixth grade major work. And so on for, for all grades, really. And because we believe that integrating topics is an efficient way to teach topics and it helps to make connections, consider this eighth grade catch-up example. Let's say you're about to teach eighth grade linear functions. We think you ought to do some work with ratios, rates, and proportional relationships as needed leading into it because those topics are very closely connected through these grades. Where there's unfinished learning, spend some time on major work of the previous grade in a cohesive way as backfill as needed, along with major work from the current grade. You may be thinking if you do this, you'll need to cut back on current work that's not considered major. And this could be true and it is unfortunate. But if we add content in one place, we probably have to remove content from another. But let's focus on the goal, which we believe is doing whatever is needed to get students back on track. If our catch up plan is making sense to you, we encourage you to analyze how the resources you already have are going to be helpful. Can you easily identify the major work of a grade? Do you know what topics to choose and what to lose? Is the content pitched appropriately to your students' academic needs? What parts of your resources are going to do the job? Do they include needed review that feeds into the major work of the grade? If you're thinking that your resources are not quite hitting the mark, we're glad you're here and we've got good news for you. We wrote MathLinks Essentials to help kids catch up. Let's spend just a little time on the specifics of how our MathLinks Essentials is a great fit for catching students up. MathLinks Essentials contains major work for grade level content in fifth through eighth grades, so it's appropriate for the purpose of catching students up in grades six through nine. 
It's not intended to be comprehensive, but it is intended to address the essential content we want for catch up. Here's some ways to use MathLinks Essentials. In your core classes, MathLinks Essentials can be the primary resource when the majority of your students need catching up. Your current textbook can be used for supplementing and enriching. MathLinks Essentials makes your intervention classes more productive and provides structure for both teachers and students. And MathLinks Essentials is a perfect fit for special education classes. We've read the research and we have experience working with districts who've had success. So let me tell you about one of those stories of success. A medium-sized district in Los Angeles used our fraction module recently for a summer catch-up program with their incoming sixth graders. The box plots on the left show some really nice fraction growth over that summer. These students all took a summative assessment at the end of their fifth grade year, and a decision was made to give them another shot at that fifth grade summative assessment at the end of the summer session. Remember, this was on all of the fifth grade math content, not just the fractions, all of the content. Interestingly, those scores increased too, as the box plots on the right show. In other words, there was growth with topics that weren't even addressed that summer. Now, the teachers attribute this unanticipated outcome to a more positive student disposition toward mathematics after having done MathLinks work. While I definitely agree, I worked with these teachers personally in professional development, and I can tell you for sure that their positive disposition contributed in a big way to this success too. Here you see three student packets that make up one module, a teacher edition, and the online teacher portal with a bunch of extra components. Since there usually aren't quick fixes to difficult and complex problems, let us make things easier for you. You'll see that you don't have to find resources or even create lessons because it's all right here for you. Just review what we already laid out and you can teach essential concepts efficiently and with fidelity so that your students make the progress they need. MathLinks Essentials consists of these six modules you see here. Each module has three consumable or digital student packets. And each of these student packets takes about 10 typical class periods to complete. Packets from these modules can be flexibly, flexibly combined. So you can create the plan that your students need to catch up. And with just a few packets, you can teach the major work of the grade level and review work that students may have missed to help get them back on track. For incoming sixth grade, these four packets address major work at grade level. And these four address foundational work, but in a more grade level appropriate way for middle schoolers. You can choose any or all of this to create your sixth grade plan. For incoming seventh grade, these are the packets for grade level work. And these are the ones for the backfill options. For incoming eighth grade, these address grade level. And these are for filling in gaps. And then finally, for ninth grade, we recommend choosing from these for the essential review. So we've identified the major work for the grade levels for you and the essential review if it's needed. And we provided great ways to deliver the instruction that's accessible to a wide range of learners. If you'd like to check out the program, just go to our website, look under curriculum, click on essentials overview to get a quick glimpse of some checklists and problem sets that give you a feel for the content of the packets, or you can click on essentials packets themselves to preview any of the packets in full. Like some support, whether you're using MathLinks or just for other purposes, 
please look at our professional development options, whether face-to-face -face or virtual. Uh, uh, just a couple of minutes to um, look at the materials a little bit more closely. So when you look at our student packets, you see these consistent features. And remember, you'll notice the structured workspace. It's welcoming to students. It doesn't overwhelm them. And when they finish a packet, they really do feel a sense of success. And we've heard that over and over from, from the teachers that we've worked with for many years. Every packet starts with an opening problem to motivate thinking. Sometimes students can solve this within a class period. Sometimes they have to go through some of the lessons because they just don't have the prerequisite skills. And then they come back and they can successfully solve this problem. Packets have three multi-period lessons to get at concept development and do skills practice. Near the end of each packet, there are review activities. Their edition is consistent as well, and it has these features. Now, this is not available on our general website to view, so for a closer look at components of interest, like the slide decks and the teaching notes that assist with lesson delivery, we'd be happy to grant you temporary access to our teacher portal. So we'd love to thoughts and some well wishes. So please give yourself permission to take a deep breath. We've got a lot of work ahead of us and managing our stress is important. Except where you and your students are. It's no one's fault that all of this happened and we're all doing our best. Take it easy, go at a reasonable pace, both for your own stability and for your students. Allow yourself to try something new. The old ways of doing things weren't always perfect anyway. Maybe it'll find something that really works well. And along with that, consider small failures as an opportunity to learn. Enjoy the small successes. A positive attitude and effort will really pay off. 